Hi everybody, Andrew here from the Pixel Perfection, um, and I'm here to show you how to make a double exposure. I had a few people ask me on how I did this photo right here, um, and I am going to show you. It's relatively simple. Um, I'm going to show you right here. We have these two photos, one of a bouquet and the other of a bride. Um, I wanted to basically take the, um, the bouquet and the bride and show both of them in a different light. Um, so what we have here are these two. What you're going to need for any um, sort of a double exposure is your subject is going to need be a more of a, a silhouette photo as right here. This is in a, a true totally black silhouette however I wanted some of her features to come through in the photo so I didn't um, make her entirely black. Uh, so what I usually do is uh, I'll duplicate that layer that way um, you can always go back on the, um, the original I wanted this whole entire background here to be white and you know this is the way I do things it could be wrong um, this is just how I found it to be easiest um, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna take this and make sure that's white and I'm going to basically just paint on there she already has a nice white glow around her so I'm not too worried about um, you know, getting in there and messing anything up because you, you can't really mess anything up when you already have that white line around here. So I'm just going to take that out. I don't really want this veil either. So I'm just going to literally take that out right now. Just like that. Soft around the edges. Perfect. So it's all white around the back. Um, so then I'm going to take this, and this is white around the back as well. Um, it doesn't need to be anything you put on that. Um, doesn't It can be any sort of landscape. Anything that has cool edges will look cool as well. In effect, I'll show you. Um, but it doesn't. It can just be anything. Um, so what we're going to do with that top layer is, which will be your landscape. You're going to just go and click on the screen for your layer options, and automatically we can already see that that's that's done something. It's taken that top layer and it's screened out everything that's white. So anything that's black will be, you know, in that layer. Also, what I forgot to tell you is I'm going to um, actually put a a curve adjustment on her. I kind of want her to be a little bit brighter, but I'm also I'm gonna her edges to be bright, but her to be a little bit dark to give her more of a a glow. So we're gonna be able to see those features just a little bit more, a little bit more drastic. Um, it's also darker, as you can tell, so it's gonna be more of a that pure silhouette. So right now we can already tell the difference. She's coming out just a little bit more uh, with that curves layer on. Um, now this is the fun part where you can you know mess around with this top layer to find out what you like and like I was telling you before these are cool when you have these cool little um, outlines um, just gives it another effect. Um, what I did on this one is I um, rotated it and I flipped it and then um, turned it around upside down actually because um, I really liked how these these petals conform to her head and, and it make, gives it a really cool look to it. Um, and you know you can scale it down, do whatever you need to in order to get it to look right. I really like that this yellow and or this purple flower which had a good amount of white in it and looked like it already so it allowed to like see through it and create this really cool effect with these coming out of her head. Um, right here, I already like this. And I like how the, her her eye, it's almost like she's got some sort of a shadow right there with the flower. So we can take that, look at it more. I kind of want that eye to be a little bit less, um, a little bit more noticeable. So I'm just going to actually, with a, a, 36% opacity, you know, just make it, take it down a little bit so you can see it, and then take down her lips just a tiny bit. But you can totally keep it fully natural. I just want it to be a little bit more noticeable on her features. 
um, right there. It's uh, it's pretty good already. I really like that. Um, we do have a lot of white space down here. I literally just you can literally just paint it. You can cut her out. It it doesn't really matter. Um, whatever works best for you and your normal um, Photoshop, you know, techniques. So I what I did there is you can either edit in Photoshop um, for the rest of it. However, I like to use Lightroom, so I went into Lightroom and um, I made a here's here's a photo that we just took in. Definitely gonna crop that and. Uh, looks good right there and right there I'm already happy with that however I want to you know do a little bit of coloring I want to make it look really light and airy more artistic um, so what I had done is I made a preset based off of some visco um, presets that I really liked and saw and I made one to look like the Kodak Max 400 so I thought that was really cool and I, I did some t tweaks and stuff to it and uh, right now I'm already loving that um, it does have some grain in it I'm not necessarily liking the grain take that down a little bit but for right now I'm gonna leave it in um, but what I really wanted is I wanted more airy more light feeling to it so I took that contrast down a lot to lighten it up I even added in some some exposure but you can do whatever you want in your photo. Um, this is just what I did for this. Um, I bumped up the highlights. I just wanted to take it, make it really light and airy, and give her that that natural feel and like she's becoming. She is the plant. She is her flowers. So um, yeah, that's um, that's going to be it. It's a pretty simple process from going from two photos. Um, all the way to your main photo. It doesn't take very long. Um, so get out there, shoot, and practice.